though. Yeah, I don't really. Why she doesn't bite you? Oh, he's running fine. Look at him go. He's fine. He's totally fine. I think you're just confused. I wonder why he was He's going to stick up to the front of the bus. He's totally capable of running. Yeah, I'll keep if I can get yeah. you to guide the yeah. back, yeah. and then once we get it going, you keep pushing it through, and then I'll catch it. <laughs> okay? Okay. It, you, Do you have to push? You may have to push a bit. Inch and an eight on all of them. Inch and an eight? Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, you get these. I think you're going to find. Some are thicker. If you don't go that far yeah. down, you're going to have too much of. So that we rough come sound. back a. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, dirty old rough sound. We are so grateful for our friends, Denny and Ange. Though at the time of this recording, we had only hung out twice in person, it feels like we have been great friends for ages. I mean, what kind of people offer their time to come work on a stranger's bus conversion? These two do. It's amazing the people we have got to meet through the Schooly community. People who take on a Schooly conversion are a rare breed. Building a tiny home on wheels isn't easy. It takes courage, stamina, and an intense willingness to learn new skills. Denny and Ange have all of that and then some. While Ange and I worked on planing the old cedar boards down to size, Denny planed the edges of each board and Brian began treating the wood with an ancient Japanese technique called Shishugibon. As a team, we were able to make it through about half of the deck boards before we got rained out and then the planer broke. We enjoyed the rest of the day laughing and eating great food. Don't worry, we'll get back to the decking as soon as the parts come in for the planer. And in future videos, we will also take you with us to go help Denny and Ange work on their schoolie too. Though Brian and I really like standing around our island, we have a better idea. Come with me. Here we have a really fun project that I've been dying to work on. I've been dying for you to work on it too. <laughs> Brian just wants to take a seat. Um, I think that my grandma Bic is gonna be thrilled when she sees what we've done. You mean Becky? with these cushions. There were, these used to be old footstools. Um, so they used to have like these adorable little legs on them. Look how cute they are. We had to take them off because these old footstools, like the legs kind of went out to the side like that. So the other night, Brian and I started deconstructing them a little, but not enough to like lose their cuteness. Had to take some pieces off of them so that we can figure out how to put them back together and make them into bar stools. How exciting is that? So this was the original piece that was on the bottom. It's like a particle board, not really strong enough for what we're gonna do. So right now I'm gonna cut out two of these to go on each stool and then, woo, and then, <laughs> So I'm gonna cut out two of these to go on each stool on the bottom. We've already got some um, old reclaimed hardwood that we're gonna turn into the legs. 
uh, ripped lengthwise. Um, and we're gonna shape them up and then we're gonna turn these puppies into stools. What do you think? I think it's a pretty cool side project. <laughs> So we're just using up some old drops of subfloor. I've got this guy Trace right here. He's got a little hole for the blow up port on the transparent scene, nature scene stool. So I'm just gonna clamp this down, cut out a circle, bada bing, bada boom. I just gotta make another one of those. I'm gonna make this rough ass plywood look as nice as possible. Just so that nobody gets hurt or like a sliver or something if they're touching the plywood. You don't want guests getting slivers. It's kinda they might not want to come back. And I don't want a sliver. And I wouldn't want Brian to get a sliver. So. That should do it. Well, that was easy. Basically, we just want to smooth this out so that it doesn't damage the plastic in any way. <laughs> we don't want splinters to pop our balloon cushion for our bum bum. I already, like, these, these old school um, footstools weren't really made for adult bums sitting on them, so we're just trying a little science experiment. Look how cute this is. So we're using Craig screws to put this together. Hopefully it's strong enough. Only time will tell. Mm -hmm. And we'll let you know when yeah. we find out. And we're working with like a balloon. Yeah. So there's that. So that's interesting also. See so I send them kind of like tapered at the ends. Oh, look cute. Super chévere. That's special. <laughs> we just have to do this on the last set of legs, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just need to put an extension on it. Go, go, gadget. Look at the sheer size of it. Feeder level. Feeder level. All right, yeah. so. This one's different. This is gonna go on this side. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to position this so that the fill port is not covered partially. <laughs> well, that's fine, because it's in the center of it. Well, if we center this on the seat. It's gonna be challenging to get to the fill port. Yeah. Hopefully we never have to fill that up again. Yeah. Who knows how many times this uh, stool was ever filled up. Like when I blew into it, it may have been the first time it's been topped up 
by since human, by human the times. 1930s. <laughs> like, who knows? So we should just take a risk. If we have to take the thing apart, oh, we'll never be able to take it apart. Other option? I kind of think that our only other option is to, we'll decide that this is the one that it's going to go on and we'll round this out a little bit. Oh, that would work. So if we got the flap disc yeah. on the angle grinder, the wood flap disc, and just kind of take that out. Mm -hmm. Be a little generous on it, but not go through there. Just so that we can keep the as That'll much. Just give us more room to get to it. Yeah. I think that we could fill it up with a bike pump, and then it'd be fine. It'd be awesome if we put helium in it, and then it would float. Whoa. If you guys are wondering about our flap disc, we have one specifically made for wood, and we also have flap discs that are for metal. So make sure if you want to play with something like this that you have the right flat disc for your project because the metal one will burn your wood. And it, well, I guess you just won't get the results that you want. Nice, good job. Sweet. Well, that was easy. Sweet, there we go. Let's mount it. Let's make sure this is even. I think we need to hit all of it with yeah. PL and then uh, and then just do a mass taping. Think that's enough? Do one more circle around the Screw. There you go. Yeah, perfect. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's probably plenty. Here, hold on. I'm not gonna push it down. I'm gonna just dock it, and then afterwards, then we could. It. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, docking the spuck neck. Perfect. Okay. This is amazing. So we got a carriage bolt in the middle coming upwards. We're gonna put a nut on that. And that carriage bolt went through the uh, particle board, now up into the plywood. And uh, don't worry, we're using a nylock nut so that if there's any vibrations, the nut doesn't get loose over time. I think I'll put like a strip of leather or something. Oh my God, no, it would be so sick. Leather. What's, what's sick is I can see you through the stool. No, it would be so sick if there was leather fringe hanging off of it with a, like a leather strip covering up this ugly bit. That would <laughs> actually be pretty hilarious. I'm doing it tonight. I got Look it. Look at this, y'all. Oh my God, so good. Has anybody ever seen a stool like this? Drop a comment, let us know. This stool was my great grandmother's. It was a. Yeah, my great grandma Vic. It was a footstool, huh? Yeah, it used to be a footstool. Um, when my dad and his brother would go visit my great grandmas, they were only allowed to sit on these. Not the fancy couches that were covered in plastic, only plastic stools. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a hilarious. Um, heirloom? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Passed down from generation to generation. But we made it better. We made it awesome. All right, That's you want to so test sit it? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, it might be like a rodeo stool. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I don't usually like to like sit on the edge of stuff anyways, yeah. so maybe this suits me. That might suit you because then it's ergonomic because it's going to move on you a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I hope my butt doesn't break it. Just be gentle with it. Yeah. <laughs> I really just need a place to casually rest my butt. <laughs> and that's that's a casual resting a spot casual for sure. Casual butt rest? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Bam. Wow, you're really, really getting it. <laughs> I didn't hit record on that one. Oops. Anyway, here's what's been going on. Whoa, look what just happened over the kitchen. Kitchen's in shambles. Woo! This is what we call living in a construction zone and getting shit done, kids. That's right. So right above the kitchen window right here, we have our insulators in place. But notice this right here. That's a cute little shelf, huh? How cute is that? Super cute. So that's gonna be for spices and whatnot. And we're gonna have a little gate that comes up and down here. So maybe I'll remember to record that for you. So we got these little dividers here in place. Uh, that's going to help aid for three different uh, drawbridges maybe? Maybe they'll be called drawbridges because they're gonna come down here and they'll go up so that uh, it holds all the spices and stuff in place while we're cruising down the road, bumping around. Um, but these, this was a real fun one. All it was, it was a piece of plywood and I've got this little piece of plywood right here as a spacer. So, and then I just GRK'd it into the furring strip that is, uh, this piece is hooked into. Not too difficult, folks. Just measured from left to right and cut the piece, slid it in, worked pretty good. Now, I, uh, I got this piece in and I've got one more piece over here on the side to uh, cover up this wool insulation, Havelock wool, right there. And then that should finish off the windows. Um, and so I just have to measure the side here and get it screwed in. I got to see if this uh, furring strip here is too far over or if it's, uh, uh, or if there's enough room to get a GRK in there. But look at the details on that. Bow. Wow, 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 wow. Brian Garcia, yeah. do you realize this is almost the end of it, covering up the wool? Almost, but I need to take off a pubert. Hey, that's my word. I am. I'll be back. See you later, pubert. Whoa. You did it. Look at that. Can you guys believe it? That's freaking gorgeous. It's coming along. Still got a lot left to do. A lot left to do. Make this schooly livable. <laughs> Put this shit away. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a pantry right here. Right here, pantry. Fireplace, pantry. Mm -hmm. Couches. Yeah. When I say couches, I mean a couch there and a couch there. Not two couches there. Look what Brian's doing behind my back. Right behind her back while she's editing a video. Ah, that's amazing. Look at that. Oh my god, cute. That's good, right? That is fantastic. So you have two options. You can either hang it from the bottom edge. Uh -huh or from the top edge. The top edge you would see the plywood here and then you would see the hinge here on the top or the bottom edge yep. would be like that and then you don't really see the hinge at all. Then we have more room in the shelf. Yeah. And, and I kind of like seeing the gold barrel. I think it's cute. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's gonna be so good. Nice work, Garcia. Thank you. Well, that would go start with that. I'm so in love with this little corner. Starting to get some stuff off of this area and up onto the shelf. It's so nice. <laughs> All right, where do you want this? On you want under, it on the bottom? Yeah, on the bottom so we have more room. Oh, we gotta make the little slots. 
Oh yeah, we do need to make the slots. So let's uh, mark where the slots need to go on this one. Probably right here. And right there. That way it's kind of out of the way. Mm -hmm. Cool. Perfect. It's like a quarter inch away from the, the side edge. rail. Yep. There cool. we go. Now let's uh, go cut those. Sweet. Yeah, I think something like small. And then a blade width. So we'll probably drill a hole first and yeah. then do a, what do you think? Yeah. So what we're doing is, this is a very long version of what we're doing, but we're going to essentially screw this up to the wall and then we're going to tie two knots in this. One is the closed version of the door and the other one is the open version of the door. So it's really simple. Basically what we'll do is we'll just move the door along the knot. It'll either be open or closed. And we'll drill a little hole in the top of the door with a little slot so the leather can slide into the hole area. And then the hole will be just small enough to catch the knot. The keyhole design. That's perfect. Yeah, that holds. So here is what I am making. This looks a little strange right now because I've got um, an extra piece of leather, like a little drop. I'm just gonna, what I did was I put it through the hole that I just drilled and then I'm just gonna tie a little bow in it or not, more like it. There you go. Got a little knot tied in it. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do with it. So what we're gonna do is this guy, is, this guy is going to be screwed to the wall, like so. And then these knots are what is going to hold the little gate up with. Just stick that in there. And bada bing. Cool, huh? So I'll probably put it up a little higher and tighter so that this can hold up. Cool, eh? Then to open it, just pull it out and adjust the knot. So probably when we're parked, it'll just like kind of dangle down like this. We'll just have it open. And then when we're ready to drive, we'll move it up to the top knot.
hanging low. And then on the tight setting. Sweet! It wow. works! Finally. Oh, oh, oh! Woo! Put the faves at the front. Guys, this is the best. We can put stuff somewhere where it won't fly while we're driving, which means we can drive soon. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>